Welcome to the Home Science lesson on care and maintenance of fabric. In this lesson, you will learn about getting ready to launder clothes at home, how to check stains and remove them, laundering of specific fabrics, and handy hints for ironing. Let's start with the basics. We all wear clothes and they need proper care to stay clean and last longer. Clothes can get dirty from stains, dust, oil, and sweat. And if we don't take care of them, they can become a breeding ground for germs and fungi. That's not good for our skin or our hygiene. Now, let's talk about some essential steps in fabric care. Shaking helps remove loose particles from clothes. Gentle brushing in the direction of the fabric pile can help. And don't forget to air your clothes outdoors or in a well-ventilated area to remove odors. Laundering isn't just about cleaning clothes, it involves three important steps. First is washing. Use soap or detergent to remove dirt, sweat, and odor. Second is finishing. This includes using starch or other finishing agents, drying, ironing, and folding. Third is storing. Depending on the season, you may need to store your clothes properly. Remember, not all fabrics are the same. Some can be easily washed, while others, like leather and fur, require dry cleaning. Before you start washing, gather all your soiled garments and laundry supplies in one place. Don't forget to mend any damaged clothes because washing them in that condition can make things worse. Depending on the type of fabric, whether it's cotton, colored cotton, synthetics, silk, or woolens, you'll need to adjust your washing method. For sturdy cotton fabrics, like shirts and bed sheets, hand washing with a good scrubbing works well. Rinse them thoroughly to get rid of all the soap. On the other hand, synthetic fabrics, like nylon and polyester, prefer a gentle touch. Use lukewarm water and light rubbing, and remember, no hot water. Silk, being delicate, requires a soft touch. Lukewarm water, mild soap, and gentle rubbing are the keys to keeping it in great shape. Woolens need special attention. Be gentle, and don't forget to reshape and dry them flat to prevent felting. After all this hard work, don't forget the finishing touch, neatly folding your clothes for storage. Now, let's move on to stains. Stains can be a nuisance, but they can usually be removed if you act quickly. Different stains require different stain removers, so always identify the stain, use the right method, and stain remover. Remember, old stains are harder to remove. Finally, let's dive into how to care for specific fabrics like cotton, colored cotton, synthetics, silks, and woolens. Each fabric has its unique requirements for soaking, washing, rinsing, and ironing. Make sure to follow the care label instructions if available. And with that, we wrap up this informative lesson. For additional information on this lesson, please look at the content below the video in the online course. To get a list of the important questions and their answers for this lesson, please refer to the guidebook by our publications provided to you with this course for free. It shows you a list of all the questions that have the highest chance of coming in your next exams based on research carried out on previous year question papers. All the best, and I'll see you in the next lesson.